Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing with Neons because Huda sent me her palettes and I really wanted to test out some of these shades and see just how well they perform and see if I can do a wearable way to wear neon, right? Because that's my ethos this year. So anytime I'm playing with color, I'm trying to do a more cool girl twist to it. So something that's more wearable. I guess that means that the tutorials are just going to be a little bit more simple. It, so it's probably a good thing, right? Okay, I'm gonna start out by priming and I really wanted to use the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat Blur Primer that I purchased from Sephora in the VIB sale. It has these gold flakes suspended in it. It's super bougie and I'm gonna test it out. I hear that it's really good, so literally first time trying it. Ooh. All right, I see some blurring happening. The foundation I'm going to use is the Cover FX Power Play, and I like N40. Satisfying little nugget on my hand there. I'm going to use this Ray Morris brush to blend everything out. Oh, before we move on, I'm going to be rewarding people that at least watch a little bit of this video. If you want to win the Notification Squad prize, this video, it is a Laura Mercier powder. Now it's completely unopened, it has the seal on it but it doesn't have a box because I got it directly from the PR. So yeah, if you want to win this brand new Laura Mercier powder, just leave a comment within the first 12 hours and good luck. Moving on, we have to do our brows. So this is the brow pencil number four. I'm trying to keep them light so that they don't overpower the look because I think that's one of the keys to keeping your looks wearable, especially if you have more intense eye looks. I think that keeping your brows more natural is a major key because it just pairs down the look. A good tip for that is take your foundation brush and buff it through like the head of the brows and halfway through and allow yourself to have kind of the unfinished look. So lighten it up because if you go in with your brow gel and it's tinted, wait a minute. Well, I love this brow gel anyway. This is the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Grind because it's darker. So I'm going to go really lightly so it just hits the hairs and not the skin. And pushing it up so you can see the hairs going over the edge of the eyebrow. And that way they look more like real and less drawn on. Oh my god, why am I so unorganized? I keep having to get up and fetch things because normally I put all my products here, but I'm on my period. I can't be trusted. I'm going to take my favorite concealer, the NARS Soft Matte. It really is truly amazing for concealing blemishes. I mean, check this out. You shall not pass. The shade I'm using to match that N40 foundation is Medium 1.5 Macadamia. Go on, skis. Okay, I want to go straight on to eyes because that's what I'm so excited about. I'll start with the Smashbox Lid Primer in Light. And I'm going with a tinted eyelid primer just to help the colors pop. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is take a nude eye pencil. This one is called Oyster Glow and it's by Pixie. I'm taking it down that lower corner there. That's just going to come in handy a little bit later when we go into some other things. And then I'm going to take the palette. Fun times! Okay, this is fun. I'm so excited by this. I'm also a little bit nervous. I did like swatch which colors I wanted to use and they look like they're good. So I'm using my face halo as a brush cleaner between shades and just checking that the brushes I'm using are tidy and clean. Firstly, I was inspired by this amazing makeup by Mia Connor, an Australian makeup artist I follow and she's awesome. I've met her in person too and she's so lovely. So I wanted to try this look because the colors in this palette are totally reminiscent of the colors that she used on this model. So I'm going to start out with this one. This is like a coral shade. Oh my god, I'm nervous to put this on my eye. Ooh. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> That's a lot, you know? I can definitely say I've never worn an eyeshadow color like this. I 
I would just say there is a lot of fallout. It's already gotten onto that stuff that I did under there. And that is not going to be good if I get red all over my face. So I'm going to have to be careful of that. There's also a lot of fallout in the pan. I'm going to take this pink. It's like a coral pink, peachy coral pink. And I'm going to take that along the edges. This is so fun. Yo, obsessed. Okay. This brush, by the way, is the Sigma Performance Eye Kit E36. Yeah. Highly recommend. Okay, I'm going to use the same brush and just wipe it off. Oh, yikes. All over my PJ pants. Amazing. Let's go right under the eye. Same brush that I used before to put pink on there. I'm going to use that to soften out the purple. I didn't re-dip it, but I didn't clean it off. So I'm just going to clean up under my brow bone with a pressed powder. This is the banana cream powder from Too Faced. It's broken, so I'm trying to trying to use it up. So I'm kind of kind of what? So I'm trying to I'm trying to like use it up. I'm really bummed it broke. I love all the cute Too Faced products. Tapping off the excess so that it doesn't get into my work. Artist Couture just released the Diamond Lights finishes. I'm going to mix Icy Girl and Golden Hour to get like a champagne shade. It's kind of like a little bit chunky, but then it blends out into a really pretty diamond finish. Now I've got a brown eyeliner, the Marc Jacobs Glitter Bug Eyeliner in, I think it's just called Glitter Bug. Yep. Well, I'm going to put that on my upper lash line. I'm going to take my Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara. <gasps> no! My lashes are too long. My lashes are too long. Humble brag. I have to figure out what I do with that little speck on my eyelid now. Oh, just flicks away. A little bit of concealer under the eyes. This is the one that matches the foundation. Oh, how have I not seen that little shroom there? Okay. Now, I feel like I need a lot of cleaning up after all that. Because that neon does kind of get, I mean, it's even on the tip of my nose here. That neon kind of splattered everywhere, but no hate. I imagine that making neon eyeshadows is like hard to do, so I'm fine with it. I'm going to do some lashes now. I think lashes are pretty important for this look. With all that neon, I think that eyelashes would really balance out the look. And I got to pick up my four favorite Eyelua lash styles and put them in this customized packaging designed by me that is an ode to my Italian heritage. I wanted to do like a little nod to my dad, I guess. I just love, you know, Capri and, or Capri, I say it wrong, I know, but I have an Australian accent. Um, and Amalfi and that beautiful area of Italy that is actually nowhere near where my dad is from, but still. <laughs> um, yeah, so I picked four beautiful lash styles that I love to wear by Ilua. My most worn lashes by Ilua are easily the Texture 117s, and I named these Girl Next Door, and they're in this really pretty blue packaging. These are a more natural kind of wispy finish, but they still wing out at the ends. It is very important to me that lashes wing out um, in some way. These ones are the 149s, and I called them stargazing because they're so spiky and pretty, perfect for um, like a smoky look. And they have a thicker band, so they've got that liner effect. I love those. And then these ones I love because they're actually heavier on the outer corner. So they wing out and they give you the look of a winged effect, even if you don't have liner on. So these are the number one, two ones. I call these flashing lights because they're more of a like 
well, I would wear them for like a fancy night out. And then I also love, these are the ones I'm going to choose today, the one for ones on point. And I love how these are in little clusters, if I can get it to focus on there. These are in little clusters, so I really like that effect. It gives you more of a doll-eyed finish, and they're the only ones that don't really fan out at the ends. However, I trim the outer ends, and that actually makes it more fanned. So I'm going to apply these ones. They're really easy to apply. I made sure to pick and test and trial them out to ensure that they're really easy to apply. So you pull them out. Oops. There's little instructions here. There's even a glue. And what I love about Eyelua Lash is that I don't know of any other brand that does it. The way they sit them in the packaging means that you never damage the actual um, part that goes on your eye. And you can see them sitting there. They sit up there nice and straight. So you can pop out the little adhesive. And this is what's amazing. Wait, I'm going to trim them first. So I like to trim the outer ones. And see, they're still sitting up, even after I've done that. This is part of the reason why I love it so much. It's so much less fiddly when you're applying them. And then you can just take the glue and apply it directly in there. So I don't have to handle them. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? They're just so easy. And then I can just sit them there in the pack and let them dry while you do your concealer or whatever. So you let them get tacky a little bit, and then when you're ready to take them, you can just use your tweezers to pull them off the little adhesive there. You can see how easy that was. Once I feel the wetness of the glue right on my lash line, I like to hold it for a sec before I release. That way you can tell and kind of ensure that they're going to stay where you put them before you lift off again. Another important thing I like to do is I take my eye and I kind of pull it taut so I can really see in there and then I just make sure that all the lash line is touching my skin because I personally hate when it buckles so I'm looking in a mirror and I'm pressing it up against my eyelid. So once they're on I like to take a really skinny eyeliner and lay it along the very edge and cover the glue. Has to be a really skinny one. I found the best one is um, there's a really good Steeler one or this Laura Mercier one. Okay, lashes on, applied flawlessly. They're so light. Guys, these ones are so light and I love the staggered effect. It was really important to me that, I, that the lashes were all staggered, not just like one uniform length. I hate that look. It's such a dead giveaway that, they, that they're not your lashes. Period. So yeah, staggered lashes for me are necessary because naturally your lashes are not all one length. So I definitely made sure to pick my favorite styles that encompassed all my favorite things about lashes. And did you know Ilua has actually been making lashes for 70 years? I actually had to Google like vintage eyelashes because I was like, really, how good could eyelashes have been back then? But they didn't look that different. So, okay, so moving on to what's next and I'm going to bronze up my face with, what did I do with that thing? Oh, I love the Milk Matte Bronzer Stick. I'm going to take a brush straight onto it. This is the Dior 16 brush and use that to get a nice creamy bronze. I think because I've got neon on my eyes, I really wanted to go for cream. And I went straight on with a brush because I just find that that is like if you rub it straight on your face I feel like you're more likely to just smear the base that you put on before so and then And then and then and then and then and then blush and I wanted to use one of the new nude sticks blushes I got they had this cute one nudie glow Sorry called blossom cherry blossom babe or poppy girl, which I actually think might be good for yeah this makeup You need the same brush Oh my god, what's going on with my hair? Oh, gorgeous glow. Love that. I'm going to add some little freckles with Freck. I was not expecting this to be this tiny. I bought it on Revolve. They have actually emailed me to send me some and I was like, I already bought it. So... It's this tiny little thing and I probably shouldn't have thrown out the box because I just realized I don't know what to do. Let me watch some tutorials. This could be bad. This could be bad. Have you seen that girl henna, henna her own freckles and then they don't come off? I shouldn't laugh. 
but it was hilarious. <laughs> Frick. So you just take it and dot it and it said varying depths. So Okay, it's not too scary. I like that stuff. That's pretty cool. It works. I'm just going to spread it out a little bit more here. Loves it. And then for my lips, I'm going to try this on my finger. This is the Bite Beauty um, stain, and I really love it. It's called Strawberry Frosé. Starting at the inner part. And then I'll take my pixie gloss that I created. It's called Bon Bon. I'm just going to put it in the center of my lips. Pat it out. And let it be a bit like... I love that smooshed, diffused look around the lips. I find it really cool. That is the finished look. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. I love it. Hey, Seba! Come tell me what you think of my makeup. Come tell me what you think of my makeup. He's not happy. I think he's watching the football. Are you watching the footy? Sorry. He's not happy. Let's see. Thank you for acting excited. Whoa, that is intense. So neon, right? I didn't yeah. think it would be that neon. Let me see. That's crazy. Cool, right? Yeah. And my little freckles. Oh, I just noticed that too. Cute, right? Yeah. I like it. Thanks. Okay, you can go back I to I wouldn't go game. anywhere with you, but... I was literally about to say, I'm sad we're not going anywhere. <laughs> <gasps> Get out! Get out! I go anywhere with you. Well, yeah, I'm hungry and we don't have food, so what are you gonna do? Where from? You got them? The chicken ones, really good. At, what about beef too? I don't like chicken. Only chicken? I like the chicken. What kind of monster are you? <laughs> so I'm gonna put on a brave face after I find out my husband only ordered chicken and bananas. Thank you. Sorry for the emotional roller coaster, but we aren't done yet. I am gonna powder and dust it. I'm literally just gonna do my forehead because I like how the glow is everywhere. Uh, probably my chin too. It's hardly anything on the brush. A bit on the chin. Yay! Okay, let's do a close up now that I've powdered. And I think this looks really, really nice. What do you think? Okay, one bad thing about that blush is that, yeah, your hair kind of gets stuck to it, so you might want to wear your hair up or just have them fully out of your face. But I've got these little tendrils here that I'm trying to get that vibe for, so. An off-center bun. We all love that, don't we? So I tried to get as much texture in my hair as possible to really, like, bring the look down. And so, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of texture going on in my hair. I know it looks like a wasp's nest. Okay guys, well that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my eyelash collaboration with Ilua over at Priceline. And don't forget to enter the contest as well to win that powder. So I'll see you guys soon. Head over to my Instagram. I'm going to make a little IGTV of this too if you want to see it in short form. Although if you've already seen the long form, I can't see why. Unless you really wanted to support me. Like if that's something that you would do for me. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the comments and over on my IG. Love you guys.